Mesopotamian clothing history. Mesopotamia is thought to be one of the places where early civilization developed, it is a historic region of West Asia within the Tigris-Euphrates river system. Babylonia and Assyria were empires in ancient Mesopotamia, a region that is now part of Iraq. The civilization is majorly known for its prosperity, city life and its rich and voluminous literature, mathematics and astronomy. The earliest known temple was a small shrine made of unbaked bricks, similar to ordinary house a temple is the house of God. Gradually the shape and six of the temples grew larger with several rooms. In Mesopotamia, cylindrical stone seals, pierced down the center, were fitted with a stick was used as a stamp that was rolled over wet clay so that a continuous picture was created. Mesopotamian archaeology began in the mid-19th century from within biblical and classical scholarship. The rediscovery of the great capital cities of Assyria and Babylonia by British and French adventurers, notably Layard and Bada, is the stuff of legend. Clothing and Accessories Clothing and textiles reflect the materials and technologies available in different civilizations at different times. The preferred jewelry designs used in Mesopotamia were natural and geometric motifs such as leaves, cones, spirals, and bunches of grapes. Sumerian and Akkadian jewelry was created from gold and silver leaf and set with many semi-precious stones, mostly agate, carnelian, jasper, lapis lazuli and chalcedony. A number of documents have been found that relate to the trade and production of jewelry from Sumerian sites. What did the clothing in Mesopotamian look like? Let's do a Sumerian costume breakdown. Basically, fashion changes when the world changes, and in Mesopotamia, fashion didn't need to change for 5,000 years. When we look at the sculptures or drawings from that era, we see dull and neutral colors and shapes. Later Mesopotamian jewelers and craftsmen employed metalworking techniques such as cloisonné, engraving, granulation, and filigree. The large variety and size of necklaces, bracelets, anklets, pendants, and pins found may be due to the fact that jewelry was worn by both men and women, and perhaps even children. We know that Mesopotamia was alive with color. She must have been ablaze with color because exotic color was so important to the Mesopotamians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the whole culture of Sumer. They had incredible gold headdresses, and earrings, and necklaces, and we know they wore a lot of makeup. The mainstay of early Mesopotamian fashion was the following, it is called a kaunike, and it's this sort of a wrap-around skirt, worn quite high on both men and women, on men, just under the nipple, on women, wrapped under one arm and over the shoulder of another. Guys this is for today. If you like my video don't forget to subscribe. We will meet again with another interesting topic till stay safe, stay happy.